On a bright sunny day, Baal Hanuman takes a flight. He sees a fleet of birds running scared. Hey, what's going on? Baal Hanuman saves a falling bird and learns what was wrong. Go. Oh, I see. Demons in disguise of vultures are killing those poor birds. The demon vultures starts conversing on Baal Hanuman. Now I'll teach these wicked demons a lesson. Hey, stop. Just back off. The troubled words get behind Baal Hanuman. Stop or else you'll repent. Hmm, it seems you won't listen so easily. You'll reform only after getting wet. Now, the demons run scared after getting thrashed. And the bird form a grouping in the shape of Baal Hanuman to thank him at King Kesri's palace. Baal Hanuman's mother Anjana comes looking for him but couldn't find him. Dear, what happened? Whom are you searching so anxiously? Look my lord, Hanuman has become so naughty. I don't know where he went. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of searching him. He must be playing nearby with his friends. But lord, he hasn't eaten anything since morning. Don't worry dear, he won't miss his food. Remember, once when he was hungry, he went to eat Lord Sun, mistaking him for a fruit. Meanwhile, Hanuman quietly tries to sneak in the palace. Oh, I hope mom and dad don't see me. Hanuman, where are you coming from? Ouch, I'm caught. Mom, 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 I was, I was just... I, at least use the front door sometimes. You always hop inside through the window. Someday you might get hurt. Do you know how worried your mother was? Tell us, where were you? L Lord, let it be. You've started questioning him. First let him eat something. Come on, son. What? Anjana gives Hanuman some food. All these fruits and sweets are kept for you. Yes, mom. Mother, thank you. Now I'll finish off all this food alone in privacy. <laughs> okay, son, I'll leave. You enjoy your food. Baal Hanuman starts to enjoy his food. The next day, Hanuman goes out with his friend for some casual time. An old friend spots the two and interrupts. Hanuman? Where are you going? Don't you want to hear a story today while eating the fruits? No, no, not today. Today we are going to Hermitage for some important work. I heard some elephants have created terror there. Hermitage? Uh, look, look, Hanuman. Don't play with elephants and tigers. I, I, I agree, you are powerful, but yet you might get hurt. Don't worry, there isn't a need to fear when Hanuman is near. This powerful Hanuman might make the sages of Hermitage angry with his innocent acts. At a distance near the Hermitage, some demons in the form of elephants wreak havoc in the forest. Hanuman watches the rampage across the river. Oh, 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 no, no, no! Baal Hanuman playfully throws his friend across the river and follows him. His friend lands straight on the elephant. He's scared by the growling demons. But soon, Baal Hanuman arrives and starts lifting and throwing the demon elephants. Watching this, Taman tries to kill Baal Hanuman's friend. But Baal Hanuman lifts him from his ears and flies away. He manages to sit on the back of the Taman and saves his friend. Other Taman elephants, however, manage to run towards the hermitage, causing the surges to run scared. The surges, however, misunderstand the situation. It seems Baal Hanuman is playing with 
elephants and other animals again. This has led to the stampede among them. This has become a daily routine. Hanuman is so powerful, but he's not aware of his strength. And in his childish innocence, he does all this. Meanwhile, Hanuman is still fighting the demon elephants. Vic demons? Now go away from here. I know that you are demons in guise of elephants trying to stop them from harming the hermitage. Hanuman pushes the elephants down the cliff. Hanuman, what are you doing? You would have destroyed the entire hermitage. But it didn't happen, see? As long as I am here, your hermitage is totally safe. Hanuman, you are very powerful, but you are not aware of your own strength. You use more strength than required. But say, I have come here for your well-being. Now we'll stay here and protect the hermitage. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Oh, says, I can't tell you. But these elephants were actually demons who wanted to demolish your hermitage. Hanuman, I heard this say never gets angry. Is it true? Absolutely. Yet, if you don't believe, we can test him. But for this, I have to come here early in the morning. As discussed, Hanuman arrives at the hermitage next morning to test Sage's patience. After growing his size, well, Hanuman pulls two elephants to the hermitage. Hanuman leaves the elephant at the Sage's door. The Sage is petrified with the growling elephant at his door. The sage was getting late for his daily course. From his window, he sees Hanuman sitting on a tree, looking at his house. The sage gets angry. He thinks that Baal Hanuman won't stop his mischief until he's taught a lesson. You, you will not improve. I will have to teach you a lesson. He calls upon the forces of the nature and gathers his energy to curse Baal Hanuman. The powers that you are so proud to use, I curse you. You shall forget those powers and become ordinary. On being cursed, Baal Hanuman disappointedly walks back. His innocence, however, makes the says calm down. He calls upon the forces of the nature and apologizes for cursing an innocent child in such a harsh manner. A heavenly voice tells their sight that this was destined to happen and is as per the will of Almighty. Though his curse cannot be lifted, Val Hanuman will however gain his powers at the right time when someone reminds him back at Kesri Palace. Val Hanuman is depressed because of the sage's curse. His parents look at him with concern. Days go by. But Baal Hanuman is still sad. Kesari decides to do something about it. Son Hanuman, why are you sitting quietly? Go, go and play with your friends. Father, no, I don't want to play but study. I want knowledge of all the scriptures. Oh, <laughs> that's really great, son. To teach a powerful and intelligent boy like Hanuman. I need a very apt teacher. Son, in the entire universe, there is no one more knowledgeable teacher than the Lord's son. Father, Lord's son. Bad Hanuman comes out of his sadness and flies to become a student of Lord's son. He travels through the galaxies. Lord's son, on seeing Bal Hanuman, gets scared as it reminded him that he was once swallowed by him. Greetings, Lord's son. Don't be scared. I have come here to request you to be my teacher. After much persuasion, Lord Sun was more than happy to accept Baal Hanuman as his student, but on the condition that he shall stand and follow him while he takes round of the earth. Baal Hanuman accepted, learned all the scriptures from Lord Sun. On his way back home, after learning from Lord Sun, Baal Hanuman travels through a 
barren valley. He sees some people and animals trapped near a cave and surrounded by the crocodiles. Bal Hanuman lands hard on the back of one of the crocodile in order to help the trapped. He catches the crocodile with his tail and swings them away. He reads the trapped deer's mind to understand the situation better. Bal Hanuman learns from the deers that the crocodiles are actually demons in disguise and are acting on the orders of their leader Danav Raj. Danav Raj had held humans and animals from the nearby village and is preying on them regularly. Bal Hanuman enters the Danav Raj's cave. Danav Raj, half crocodile, half human, emerges from the water inside the cave. <laughs> I smell someone is here to fight with me. <laughs> is that you? So small, you are a cut. Dhanavraj, I am warning you, leave everyone and I let you live. But Dhanavraj decides to fight with Bal Hanuman, thinking he can easily overpower the kid. Ah! Come on. Is this your best shot, Dana Braj? Yeah! Please, please forgive me, forgive me. I'll do whatever you say. I'll even go away from here. Please! Free everyone. I cannot forgive you for what you have done, but I'll spare your life. I'll lock you inside this cave forever. Bal Hanuman sets everyone free and flies out of the cave. The villagers thank and hail Bal Hanuman. Bal Hanuman ki jai! Bal Hanuman ki jai! Bajarang wali ki jai! Bal Hanuman builds his statue on the cave to seal it off and flies away. Hail Bal Hanuman!